Hey guys, this is what I do when I need to get prepared for work or a red carpet event. A lot of times I do my own hair and makeup. Um, if I'm going on a you know, dinner date with my partner or just any kind of special event or party or whatever, this is my basic go-to full hair and makeup that I'll do. So this is, you know, we blew out the bangs in the last video and it looks actually somewhat kind of decent right now, but underneath, the wolf is hiding, so we need to tame that. Um, especially for like a red carpet event or something, they get every angle trust. So you need to make sure that that's looking good. So for you guys, you know, I'm gonna share with you guys what I do. So at all angles, when you're out in the world, you know it's looking good. So here we go. So my hair is actually still a little bit damp and wet uh, because in the other video, I had just washed my hair. A lot of people, as example, at work, um, when my awesome hair girl Val is doing my hair, she'll actually blow out each section. At home, that is not practical for me. And when I just wanna like get myself prepared and ready to get out the door quickly, I that doesn't tend to work for me. So this is what I do. And if you guys do that and blow out each section, right on. For me, it's just this I find to be um, easier and quicker. So wet hair, I'm just gonna quickly dry it before we get to the hot tools. I've never been filmed doing this before, so this is very funny. <laughs> you wanna make sure your hair is really, really dry because if it's still kind of damp and wet when you go to use your hot tools, your straightener or your curling iron, your hair tends to get kind of frizzy and it also doesn't keep the curl if you're curling it and it tends to like kink up again once, you're, um, once you've straightened it. Some of my girlfriends will take a shower and then the windows get all fogged up and in that same you know steamed up bathroom, they start their hair and makeup. I'll like open and close the door to make sure all the moisture like gets, gets out so that it doesn't make my hair frizz up. So dry hair. The next thing I'll do is I will always go through my hair with a straightening iron. So earlier in the other video, we talked about doing your hair in layers. That's something anytime I've ever gotten my hair done in a salon or on set or anything, one common denominator is it's always done in layers. Nobody ever kind of just goes at their hair willy nilly. It's always done in layers. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, top of the head. Before I put my straightener on, oil. I always straighten my hair with hair oil. So whatever hair oil you like, every section I do, I put a little bit of oil on it. Make sure not to use too much because once you go too far, it's really hard to pull it back unless you put a ton of dry shampoo in it, which you don't want to deal with. So a little bit goes a long way. So just like we did in the natural video, natural video, you want to take a brush, ceramic straightener, and you really want to go as close to the root as possible. And then just do nice kind of fluid moves just like that and do a little tiny bend on the bottom. Okay. And then you just do a little ring around the rosy you go all the way around. You also want to brush through your hair and make sure there aren't any knots in it. So the straight, like there's a knot here. <laughs> you want the straightener to go fluid and smoothly all the way through a nice little arch at the end. See that? See, that's looking good so far. And we're just going to go all the way around. See that? It's looking pretty good. Even with my red roots peeking out. I literally have to get my hair dyed every two weeks because my red roots come out. And on set, when the lights hit it, it's just like <laughs> glows red. And you want to make sure you get the back. You don't want to skip the back. A lot of times I'll see, um, you know, I'll see some girls where the sides look great in the front and then the back is all like 
bedhead, you know, whatever. So to avoid that, you just wanna make sure you get all the way around. Once I go all the way through my hair, I always like putting a little bit of like a setting cream on it. This is a cream that I love. And again, I've been using this for years. This is called Kill Silk Room. And it just gives your hair a nice little bit of like dirty vibe. It just kind of makes it look a little more lived in and a little goes a long way. So I'll do like that much. It's just a tiny little amount. You want to rub it in your hands really well. And it basically, I mean, it kind of vanishes. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll just kind of gently put it on my hair. I'll do like little pieces. But see, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more like lived in. It helps get rid of flyaways. And I'll just kind of work it into my hair. Now, a lot of times I've kind of just been rocking this. This is kind of mostly what I've been doing. But if you want to just bump it up a little bit, this is a curl that I learned how to do years ago. Again, this, these are things that I've just been doing for a long time. It's just, a, it's just a great trick. You guys might know how to do this already, but I'll share with you how I do it. Again, using your little finger slicer, nice little piece there. You can also, if you want to curl your whole head of hair, which I'm not going to do now because I've actually just been wearing my hair like this recently. But again, with the layers, you can go through all of your hair again with the layers and then go through and curl each one. Um, but for purposes of now, since I'm just going to kind of rock this today, I'm just going to show you how I do the curl. Also, sometimes what I'll do is just like we blew out only the bangs for that natural video, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just kind of put bends in the front of the hair and then just kind of work it through with some of that Kiel Silk Room and then it gives it a little bit more of like a bed head look. So finger slice, I have about, what is, that's about, you know, two inches, two inches wide. So what you want to do is again about getting the cuticle kind of smooth and down so your hair looks nice and silky. I'll take a little two inch chunk Grip at the base of your hair. You want to go as close to your head as possible without burning yourself, so be careful. So grip it and do a little twist. First, pull straight down like a straightening iron, just like we did with the straightening iron where you're going kind of at that down angle. You want to get the curling iron on the hair to the root. Don't burn yourself. Pull straight down and then turn. I also like this curling iron and all the curling irons like this, they have um, like a rubber bottom so you can actually kind of maneuver it with your fingers, which is great. So curling iron at the base, straight down, then you turn it, hold for a second, straight down again, turn it, hold for a second. Then you can kind of clamp it out like that. And then again, all of it at like a down angle and it just kind of makes this nice loose curl. I just want to give it a little bit of bend but still have a kind of have that smooth wave. So I don't want the curl to hold too much or else each section you can just spray some hairspray in it. So for any kind of like event I'll do the bend and then kind of mess it up and it gives it just a little bit of a messy tousled look which I really like. And I'll only do that to the front and it'll help kind of make it look bedheady. If you're not gonna do your whole head and just a few in the front, that doesn't add that much time. You know what I mean? So it just kind of makes it a little more like tousled, which I, which I kind of like, I kind of dig that too. And then get your hands in there, you know what I mean? Like get your hands in your hair and make it kind of like dirty, you know? So that's like, you know, and that's just one curl that I did in the front. That's just a nice loose curl that I do. That'll be a kind of red carpet hair that I'll do.